Here's how to find the slope of a line if you're given two points on the line. Recall that the slope formula is m equals y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1, where x1, y1 and x2, y2 are two points on the line and m is the slope of the line. Let's take a look at a couple examples. First example, find the slope of the line through each pair of points. So we have negative 4, 2, 2, negative 2, 10. If you're still having trouble figuring out which is x1, y1, and which is x2, y2, go ahead and label those. A lot of people make mistakes and mess up their coordinates. So go ahead and label them. So the slope is y2 minus y1, or 10 minus 2, divided by x2 minus x1, or negative 2, minus a negative 4. And recall that minus a negative number is the same thing as adding a positive number. So let's go ahead and simplify that. 8 over negative 2 plus 4 is a positive 2, where the slope of this line is 4. Let's take a look at a second example. We have the points 4, 3 and negative 1, 11. So my slope, well, let's go ahead and label those again. x1, y1, x2, y2, and I want to do y2 minus y1, or 11 minus 3, divided by x2 minus x1, or negative 1 minus 4. And simplifying, that gives me 8 over negative 5. And we can put the negative, we can keep it on the bottom with the 5. We can put it on top with the 8. I kind of like to just put it out in front. So my slope is negative 8 fifths. Here's a third example, and this one's a little bit of a curveball. 6, 7 and negative 2, 7. Notice that my y coordinates are both 7s, they're both the same. So let's see what happens when we calculate the slope. Slope equals y2 minus y1, 7 minus 7, over negative 2 minus 6. 7 minus 7 is 0, over negative 8. And recall that any time you have a fraction with a zero on the top, that is equal to zero. And I will expect you to write just a zero, not zero over negative eight. And here's our last example. Negative three comma two, and negative three comma negative six. Notice in this example that my x coordinates are the same. They're both negative three. So let's see what happens when we calculate the slope negative 6 minus 2 over negative 3 minus a negative 3 and then remember that minus a negative turns into plus a positive so that's going to give me negative 8 over negative 3 plus 3 is 0 and recall that when you have a fraction with a 0 in the denominator that is undefined and I'll be looking for that word on your quiz and test. If you have a fraction with a zero in the denominator, use the word undefined.